What would you do if your partner woke you up in the morning and asked, How would you feel about clearing your schedule today and going on the most epic nine hour date with me? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So I'm not telling you where we're going, but you need uh, a change of clothes, comfy shoes, okay. a bathing suit, but not one of your risque bathing suits, like a family friendly bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A towel, uh, my towel as well, uh, and then we're probably going to pack some food and that's all I'm going to tell you. Normally Cell's the one surprising me with dates and coming up with all of our date night ideas. So today, I want to do it for her and I'm going to take it up a notch. As Cell got ready, I made a delicious but not so nutritious snack. Guys, snacks are always the key to a great date. We were off on our epic date. Cell still had no idea where we were going, but she figured it out fairly quickly. I absolutely adore Mornington. It is one of my favorite spots in Victoria. Before surprising Cell with this date, I googled the best things to do in Mornington and Arthur's seat came up as the top lookout suggestion, so we headed there first. The lookout is home to Arthur's Seat Eagle, which is an aerial gondola system. The gondolas will carry you between the base station in Dramana to the summit of Arthur's Seat, which is where we were. You pass over the beautiful Arthur's Seat State Park. I was really keen to get out of the car at this point, but um, we were slightly held up. One of the most important parts of our travel experiences is Eric putting on sunscreen. Bald guy problems. Do you feel safe from the sun? I feel protected now. Now we can go. So we made it to Arthur's seat. Look at the gondolas. This is supposed to be one of the most beautiful lookouts along the peninsula. Bit of a steep decline. We're going down to the lookout. Got helicopters above us. A little bit of wilderness to trek through. Oh God, watch your head. In this spot, we were looking out over the gondolas. No doubt it was beautiful, but I wanted to get Sal a little closer to the action. The only problem is my ability to follow basic directions. Here's a little snip of me explaining my navigation strategy. We see a, a walking track, so we're gonna go down that walking track. <laughs> we're gonna have to circle back. Yeah, I don't know where this is gonna take us. It looks like it's leading more inland. So it's saying, you are here, there looks like there's a lookout over there. Arthur's Seat Lookout. I feel like it's over there. What okay. do you think? Let's go have a look. Are we sure it's that way though? You're right. Cell was right. The real question is, who is Arthur and where's his seat? <laughs> we actually went on our first mini couples vacation in Mornington. We did. It's where we had like one of our first little romantic getaways. Just far enough out of Melbourne where you feel like you're out of the city. It's quiet. The water's beautiful. Um, it's got really hilly roads, which I really like. Yeah, just a good spot for all around relaxing little day trips out of the city. It feels like you're on vacation as soon as you arrive. True. And the weather has held up for us really nicely because it was supposed to storm today. Yeah, guys, we Fingers crossed it still doesn't. Touch yeah. wood, touch wood. Touch wood. Go, hurry up. We had a 50% chance of thunderstorms. <gasps> touch wood. Whew. Whew. <laughs> what one are we doing? Oh, this one. <laughs> Finally on course and headed in the right direction, we made our way <laughs> down the hill. All right, we're coming to a head. We have traveled 220 meters from our original destination. <laughs> Not out of breath yet. <laughs> Very nice Lamborghini over there. Oh, I don't know, maybe that's for his Tinder profile, doing some <gasps> profile pics over by his Lambo. Yep, we sure can. That's beautiful. Look at that. We found it, but Eric had his eye on a different view. That is stunning, what do you think? That's amazing. Yeah, look at that. 
Anyway, for those of us looking at the view we're supposed to be looking at, here are some aerial shots we took earlier in the day. For any of uh, our car lover fans, we are gonna get a good view of a black Lamborghini Gallardo taking off. Here they go. <laughs> One day, now we gotta try to not get hit. Go, 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 go. <laughs> On to the next surprise stop for sale, Millionaire's Walk. Eric and I decided to start this channel as a way to connect with one another better, but also to connect with the people and places and things around us. As you move into the year, the lists begin piling up, you get bogged down with work opportunities and things like adventure and spontaneity just seem to be out of reach. But what if you drew a line in the sand? We're at the start of Millionaire's Walk. We think we've got some people coming. Hello. If they're millionaires, they're polite millionaires. Beautiful car. I think we're in the right spot though. Supercars, <laughs> fancy houses. I think I'm going to take a house along this view. Holy smokes. Wow. Feels like home. <laughs> it's incredible. Wow we. What are your thoughts so far of Millionaire's Walk? Me? Yes. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other person I'm I'm with today. <laughs> Why don't we show you this view from above? Cue the drone footage in three, two, one. Here's an adventure challenge we are setting out for you this week. Answer this, where is the equivalent to Millionaire's Walk closest to you? Is it a street or is it a community? Comment below. On to our next stop, which is also the grand finale of our epic date, the Mornington Peninsula Hot Springs. Before we jumped in, I had another surprise for sale in store. We stopped for a delicious picnic in one of the hot springs chill out zones. Looking good. We ate our lunch and then had the best time bathing in the hot springs. It wasn't all relaxing though. We did try this painful but oddly satisfying reflexology walk where we came across some really, really cute ducks. We also both took a dip in the cold plunge. Cell found some hammocks for us. <laughs> we found another spot to relax for a while. But then... It was time to get out of there. We raced back to our locker. By the way, if you do plan on visiting the hot springs, you can hire a locker and they'll give you one of these handy dandy bracelets as your locker key. We made our way back to the car just in time and indulged in our afternoon snack. See, I told these snacks were the key. The rain got even more intense as we drove home, so it was definitely time to get out of there. Next time, we'll tell Cell not to jinx us. The weather has held up for us really nicely. Because Touch wood. Touch wood. <laughs> it's important to do nice things for one another. Acts of thoughtful spontaneity and kindness go a long way. Think about what you can do for someone else this week. If you enjoyed this video, we would be so appreciative if you could show us some love by subscribing to our channel. We love making videos and sprinkling inspiration for adventure onto everyone who follows us. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next adventure. <laughs>